Joe Crush is a firm believer in coincidence. I'm Joe Crush of 1158 Princess Avenue, Camden, New Jersey. I'm nobody. I don't know anybody. I have no drag. Looking back, he claims it was coincidence that brought him as an ordinary soldier to the founding of the United Nations in San Francisco. And from there to Nuremberg, Germany, a city that would be forever known as the place where the most infamous Nazi war criminals were sentenced to die. They once dominated much of the world and terrified most of it. We will show them to be living symbols of racial hatred, of terrorism and violence, and of the arrogance and cruelty of power. So in a six month period, I saw all the good guys and all the bad guys of the world. Although he's 92 years old, Joe can still remember the sights and smells of his experiences in post-war Europe. I was an ice skater and uh, I wanted to skate in Queen's, Queen's Rink, which is famous in London. And it was closed because it was full of coffins. And the first thing that struck me was the smell of sauerkraut and death in Nuremberg. Joe is one of the few living witnesses to World War II history. A gifted illustrator and an avid collector, Joe is a living scrapbook, and his home feels like a museum. I picked up anything that laid around that was not nailed down. Joe was part of OSS, the precursor to the CIA. But when officers realized the extent of his artistic ability, he was commissioned to join Presentation, a sector that developed creative documents and media for the Army. Joe and his team developed displays, panels, and passes for the beginning of the Nuremberg Trials. We were there to do whatever was required, and suddenly they realized they had no such thing as a pass. And I made them triangular, and I made them yellow and black, which seemed very prophetic. I don't think any, anybody realized that, but it was my own little way. Although he wasn't involved in the legal proceedings of the trial, Joe can still remember the apprehension of the city in 1945. It amazes me that we were as close to everything as we were. Joe's office overlooked the courtroom, where he could see the trial unfold. As a matter of fact, it surprised me that when I, when I saw Goering and Hess and all the rest of them, I didn't, I didn't suddenly spring full of hate. It was just another, another man who had done something wrong, something people didn't agree with. To keep their spirits high in the dismal atmosphere, Joe and others would sneak into the courtroom at night after work was finished, posing as plaintiffs and joking as judges. And Joe never abandoned his love for the arts. Three months prior to Europe, he drew the emblematic leaves that would become part of the official logo for the United Nations. In Nuremberg, he sketched the displaced faces of the war. Persons who were pulling their, all of their earthly wares on wagons, people eating out in the streets, lived in, in subterranean rooms, trucks full of of uh, displaced soldiers. As a matter of fact, I remember the day we left Nuremberg, we went over to the rail yards to catch a, to catch a train to Frankfurt to get home. And uh, a DP freight came by. It was a touching scene. It was uh, late in the afternoon, a setting sun, and it shone onto this one boxcar. And there was a woman who was very pregnant, and she was about to give birth to a baby, and she was a long way from home. Joe has never returned to Europe in the 66 years since he left. Instead, he and his wife Beth made a home for themselves in the Philadelphia suburb of Wayne. Together, they were successful teachers and artists, illustrating such classics as the Borrower's Children series, Joe continues to teach painting and drawing one day a week at Mainline School Night. As for the photographs and drawings of years past, he stores them in a plain cardboard box, generally away from the public eye. I, I don't like to mention it. I say I'm no hero because but that, whatever I did came down the road and I was asked to do and I did. Uh, well, I, I have a lot of knowledge that I have to tell somebody. 
for Crossroads. I'm Julia Achilles.